University of Alabama, and welcome to our second episode of the Quad Report. I'm Hunter. JD. I'm JD. This is JD. That stands for Jonathan Darrell for uh, tax purposes. Um, I mean, that's what your mama calls you. Yeah, I know. Well, we're going to cut the crap here and jump right into the serious business. Uh, University of Alabama football. We uh, took on the North Texas Mean Green Eagles. Mean Look, Green Fighting Eagles. The Mighty Fighting Mean Green Eagles. Uh, <laughs> they came in and grinded in the stadium and scored seven points on us. Uh, that, that was crap. That. that was crap, though, because it was like right in front of us. Nobody covering the receiver, and he scores a touchdown. That's bull crap, but they, awesome. shouldn't, they shouldn't have scored nothing on us. Anyway, we were playing lights out. Nick Saban needs to get his act together. <laughs> we don't want scores like that. But uh, we go over that some uh, players had a couple great performances. Old Greg, of course, has yeah. always performed pretty good. Greg McElroy, for those who are a little slow. Speaking of slow, how did you do? On the Shut up. Test? Well, we I don't need to. We don't need to talk about that. Yeah, I'm sorry. We don't need to talk about that. What are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about Trent Richardson oh. embarrassing this kid, this North Texas. I guess he was a linebacker or something. Just sat him on his butt, man. Lowered his shoulder. Boom. Sat him. Mm. It was it was embarrassing. I, I would have felt embarrassed. I don't know how he felt, but I felt embarrassed. <laughs> uh, man, I'd have been given a hard time if I was his teammate. I've been, man, you just you gonna let him do that? You gonna let that freshman Richard? Is he Richard? No, he's, he's not Richard. Freshman, true true freshman. freshman. Thank you. What do you think about uh, the redshirt freshman Star Jackson's play? Star Jackson, he, he was all right. Um, I think he did pretty he good. He was okay. I was very impressed. He, he's not as good play. as McElroy, though. I mean, I mean, I think given the chance, he uh, could perform to uh, old Greg's status. Well, yeah. I mean, I'll, once he gets a chance, he'll, he'll do his what, what he needs to do. We'll see. But I want to talk about something right now that pisses me off. Lee Kiffin. Your job, your job is to kick a ball through a hoop, or through the goals, through the goals. And you can't do that. You go to college to do that. That's all you do. That's you. That's, that's all you that's do. All he has to do. That's all he has to do. You he has run. To kick the ball. You the do golden, squats and you kick the football. The Golden Flake girls at halftime <laughs> kick better field goals than him. <laughs> Let's kick him off the team. I don't care who his dad is. I don't care what his dad did. Just. I, I agree. Do you, you remember? He needs couple, to go sell. sell remember, you homes. remember a few years back where he single-handedly lost the Arkansas game? I remember. Look, Every time he single-handedly pisses me off when he misses a field goal. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can understand one or two here or there. Not one or two here or there every game. Anyways. Well, that was his rant on that. So. Uh, it, it, no, it, you have one job. Do it right. Yeah. No, The mailman, he has one job. If he doesn't do it, he does it right. If, if the mailman doesn't bring the mail, then people complain. Overall, it was a pretty good win. It was Just impressive. Do your job. Just do your job. Overall, it was a, it was a good solid win. I liked I liked the score. It was uh, our highest score since two thousand one, which is a plus. I'd like to see us get to sixty, but we didn't get there. I'll settle for fifty. I'll settle. Yeah, that's a, that's a good win. It's a good win. And uh, also, there's some other interesting games that improved our football team. USC losing. They did. They lost to uh, bumping us to number three. Purple people leaders of three. Washington. <laughs> Purple people eaters. <laughs> Is that not there? I don't know. Is that not Washington? There? Yeah. Purple people eaters. Uh, can can we get something on that, Pat? Can we get a <laughs> confirmation? Washington? Yeah, they beat USC. Oh, it's just like Delaware. Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, but Georgia, Georgia and Arkansas game, that was a good game. Um, if you like not seeing defenses on the field. Uh, yeah, I guess. Cause that, it was a pretty high scoring game for an SEC game. Yeah, and they they were they were sticking. It was going to be the last one to sc- score a touchdown. I thought, but Georgia just took well, it see, out. Of Arkansas in games teams. like that, I find that usually the team that wins is the team that has the most points when the fourth quarter is over. <laughs> um, 
Tennessee and uh, Florida. That was a good game. Very surprising. Um, well, we thought Florida was just going to shove it down their throats. But like they always do. But, uh, and, uh, that makes me a little nervous for the Tennessee game, actually. It actually makes me – gives me confidence for the Florida game when we take them on in the uh. SEC championship <laughs> in Atlanta. Uh, we, we, we can't look far. It's can't great. Look, get, your, get, get a hotel we, room. We, we're we can't look that far ahead. We got to take it game by game, like Nick Saban says. You got me, son. I got you. Okay. I'm just saying it's gonna happen. I'm, I'm just saying that we happen. need to worry about the next game. I had a dream about it. It's gonna happen. Okay. We had a dream that's coming true. Um. Who? What else? What other game? Is there um, any other good game? Oh, the Auburn game. That was. Yeah, Auburn. Uh, were basically handed the game, but they they were handed opportunities and capitalized on them. Which you can't blame them for that, and a win's a win. And I was actually pretty impressed with what the Auburn Tigers did. Um, hey, how, how'd you feel that night? I, th- I thought it was good. I thought it was a good game. Like I, I was wanting West Virginia to win, but then I was like, no, I'm an SEC fan. I was rooting for Auburn. I know, Alabama fan rooting for Auburn. Whatever. Take it how it is. Yeah. I know you probably don't like it, but see, I, I don't, I don't buy into this whole SEC superiority thing. I mean, I hope they all lose. Like, there's no reason I should ever cheer for an SEC team that I can think of. Except I mean, for special cert, special cases. I mean, I mean, I'm just an SEC fan. I'm. I don't like the SEC. I don't. I just don't like it. Whatever. Okay, moving that's, on. That's moving just on. Me. That's just me. Um, it's just me. What? Uh, moving on to what? What? What else? Uh, we can talk about Taylor Swift and. Uh, oh, what's that guy, Patrick? What was his name? Who? The uh, guy that called out Taylor Swift. Uh, the Barack Obama. Uh, Barack our Obama. Former president. Yeah, our former president. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops, I thought we're our current I, president. I we're on the 45th, actually. Oh no, uh, current president. No, Jeff Sessions hasn't ran for president yet. Uh, um, so anyway, my no, president no. is Barack Obama. But um, just getting off the Yes, uh, he is. Barack Obama even called Kanye West a jackass for his actions at the uh, what was that? The Liberal Music Awards. Oh, the Liberal Music. This is Video Music Awards. Get it right. Same thing. Come on. Have you ever seen? It? Come on. Okay. Anyways, uh, what Kanye we did some liberal was fans. totally liberal uncalled fans. for. And uh, it was uncalled just for. Just not necessary went, at all. She's a 19 year old girl. I went straight to my Facebook and said, Kanye West, you're an asshole. Did you? I did that. You went that far? I was though? that mad. I was. And obviously, people commented on my status and had felt the same way. But I'll be right back. I, I agree. I agree. Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's time for, uh, we actually have an intern here. Sorry about that. Yeah. We actually have an intern here at the, the Quad Report, and uh, we're going to bring in uh, Craig Winston. Um, what? Oh, that's Clint. W- Excuse me. What's his name? Terry Rosser. Ter- ter- we're bringing in Terry Rosser in here. With uh, don't sit back down. I I won't. Why would I sit back down? Uh, just come on up, Clint. And uh, it's time for a Clint's movie pick. And how's it going? Welcome Buddy. to the show. You, you got <laughs> First of all, I like to say roll tide. Roll tide. But my movie pick for the week is a timeless classic about a young man trying to find his parents. Joe Deertag. It's a very good film. Joe Deertag. It stars what's that guy's name? David David Spade. This is David Spade. You also might know him from the TV show. <laughs> Just shoot me. <laughs> it's a very good movie. I suggest it strongly. Well, there you go. Anyways, next week Arkansas, two thirty. Bryant Denny, be there, be square. Remember, 
shit happens. This is college.